The state of Karnataka in South India has a rich diversity of flora and fauna. It has a recorded forest area of 38,720 square kilometers, which constitutes 20.19% of the total geographical area of the state. These forests support 25% of the elephant population and 20% of the tiger population of India. Many regions of Karnataka are still unexplored and new species of flora and fauna are still found. The Western Ghats Mountains in the western region of Karnataka are a biodiversity hotspot. Two sub-clusters of the Western Ghats, Talakaveri and Kudremak in Karnataka, are in a tentative list of sites that could be designated as World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. The Bandipur and Nagarahol National Parks which fall outside these subclusters were included in the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve in 1986, a UNESCO designation. Bailairiranga Hills in Karnataka is a place where Eastern Ghats meets Western Ghats. The state bird and state animal of Karnataka are Indian roller and the Indian elephant respectively. The state tree and state flower are sandalwood album and lotus respectively. Karnataka is home to 406 plus tigers around 12% of tigers in world. Topic: <laughs> National Parks in Karnataka. Karnataka has 5 national parks. Topic: <laughs> Anshi National Park. This park is present in the Uttara Kannada district and spreads over an area of 250 square kilometers. The altitude varies from 27 meters (89 feet) to 937 meters (3074 feet) and temperatures from 15.5 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Average annual rainfall is about 4700 millimeters (185 in). Flora: The area has semi-evergreen and evergreen forests. Some common tree species in the area are Calophyllum tomentosa, Calophyllum widianum, Garcina cambogia, Garcina moriala, Nema attenuata, Hopea widiana, Tetramelis nudiflora, Alstonia scolaris, Flacordia montana, Machilis macarantha, Coralia brachiata, Articarpus hirsutus, Articarpus lacucha, and Cinnamomum zelanicum. Fauna Mammals in the park include Indian elephant, gaur, wild boar, sambar, chevrotain, muntjac, chital, grey langur, bonnet macaque, slender loris, Bengal tiger, jungle cat, Indian leopard, leopard cat, small Indian civet, common mongoose, golden jackal, dhol, sloth bear, Malabar giant squirrel, grizzled giant squirrel, Indian giant flying squirrel, and Indian crested porcupine. King cobra, python, cobra, rat snake, viper and krite are among the snakes that inhabit the park. Interesting birds include the great hornbill, malabar pied hornbill and salon frogmouth. <laughs> Bondipur National Park It is situated within Chamarajanagar district covering an area of over 800 square kilometers and adjoins the states of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. In 1973, Bandipur became one of the first of India's tiger reserves and became a part of Project Tiger. In 1974, intention was declared under the Wildlife Protection Act to notify it as a national park. Flora, the scrub jungles towards the eastern limits of the park consist of stunted trees, interspersed with bushes and open grassy patches. Towards its northwestern fringes, there is a gradual shift in the vegetation from open dry deciduous forests to tropical mixed deciduous forests. These diverse habitats support an enormous diversity of animal life. Fauna, the mammals found here are Indian elephant Elephus maximus indicus, gaur Bos gorus, sambar Cervus unicolor, chital or spotted deer axis axis, muntjac Muntiacus muntjac or barking deer, mouse deer Machiola indica, bonnet macaque Macaca radiata, slender loris Loris tardigradus, red giant flying squirrel Petorista petorista, Bengal tiger Panthera tigris, Indian leopard Panthera pardus, common palm civet Paradoxorus hermaphroditus, small Indian Civet, Vivaricula indica, sloth bear, Melursus ursinus, dole or Asiatic wild dog, Goon alpinus, striped hyena, hyena hyena, golden jackal, Canis aureus, ruddy mongoose, Herpestes smithy, smooth-coated otter, Lutrigale perspicillata, Indian pangolin, Manus crassicaudata. 
Among the 230 species of birds identified here, some of the important groups include herons, storks, egrets, ducks, kites, eagles, falcons, quails, partridges, wildfowl, lapwings, sandpipers, pigeons, doves, parakeets, cuckoos, owls, nightjars, swifts, kingfishers, bee-eaters and munias. Reptiles like marsh crocodile Crocodilus palustris, Indian pond terrapin, starred tortoise Geochelon elegans, common Indian monitor Varanus bengalensis, Indian chameleon Chameleo zelanicus, skinks Mabuya spp. Geckos Hemidactylus, common rat snake Tyas mucosus, Indian cobra Naya Naya, Russell's viper Deboya russelli, common krite Bungarus caruleus, Indian python Python malorus, checkered keelback, green whip snake, common Indian bronzeback Dendrolophus tristis and trinket snake Elif helena are found here. Topic: <laughs> Banergata National Park. It is located in Bengaluru district and covers over 260.51 square kilometers of area. Altitude varies from 740 meters (2428 feet) to 1034 meters (3392 feet). Temperature from 20 degrees to 35 degrees Celsius and the average annual rainfall is 700 millimeters (28 in). Flora, the area has dry deciduous forests and thorny scrub, with patches of moist deciduous forests along the streams. Tree species in the park include Anogysis latifolia, Schleichera oleosae, Terminalia tomentosa, Terminalia arjuna, Gruia tilifolia, Santalum album, Shorae tolora, Emblica officinalis, Vitex altissima, Rytia tinctoria, Randia sp, Zizophus sp, and Albizia sp. Bamboos are common in the park, the dominant species being Dendrocalamus strictus. A small area of the park has plantations of eucalyptus, Bahinia purpurea, Samania saman and Peltiforum terracarpum. Fauna, mammals in the park include Indian leopard, gaur, Indian elephant, golden jackal, fox, wild boar, sloth bear, sambar, spotted deer, barking deer, common langur, bonnet macaque, Indian crested porcupine and hare. A Bengal tiger has recently been sighted in the park. Kudremak National Park Spread over an area of 600.32 square kilometers, it encompasses regions in the districts of Dakshina Kannada, Udupi and Chikmagalur. Altitude varies from 134 meters (440 feet) to 1,892 meters (6,207 feet). The park has a pleasant climate, with temperatures ranging from 17 degrees to 28 degrees Celsius. Annual rainfall varies from 1,778 millimeters (70 in) to 6,350 millimeters (250 in), with an average of 4,000 millimeters (157 in). The rivers Nethravati, Tunga and Bhadra are believed to originate here at Ganga Mula. Flora, the park has mostly evergreen and semi-evergreen forests. Shola grassland habitat is found at elevations above 1,400 meters 4,593 feet. Evergreen trees include Picolonaron indicum, Holigarna arnidiana, Articarpus sp, Calophyllum sp, Alstonia scholaris, Canarium strictum, Syzygium cumini, Flacortia montana, Simplocos spicata, Hopea parviflora, Mesua feria, and Avodiaroxbergiana. There are also a few plantations of eucalyptus, Casuarina, and Acacia auriculiformis. Fauna, mammals in the park include Bengal tiger, Indian leopard, dole, golden jackal, lion-tailed macaque, common langur, sloth bear, gaur, sambar, spotted deer, barking deer, Malabar giant squirrel, Indian giant flying squirrel, Indian crested porcupine and mongoose. Reptiles are represented by snakes and tortoises. Bird species in the park include the Malabar trogon, great hornbill, Malabar whistling thrush and imperial pigeon. Nagarahol National Park Also known as Rajiv Gandhi Nagarahol National Park gets its name from the Nagara Hole Snake River in Kannada which runs eastwards through its center. Nagarahol River flows through the park before it joins the Kabini River that also acts as a boundary between Nagarahol and Bandipur. The park covers an area of about 575 square kilometers. 
The Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary of Kerala adjoins to the southeast. Flora – These forests are dominated by teak and rosewood. The eastern limits of the park consist of regenerating dry deciduous forests. The west region of the park contains tropical moist and semi-evergreen forests. Interspersed with these forests are swampy fallows called hadless, which are dominated by grasses and are favoured grazing areas of many wild herbivores. Fauna – Some of the species of mammals found in this park are Indian elephant Elephus maximus indicus, gaur Bos gorus, sambar Cervus unicolor, chital or spotted deer or axis deer axis axis, muntjac or barking deer Muntiacus muntjac, chevrotain or mouse deer Machiola indica, four-horned antelope Tetraceras quadricornis, giant fruit bat Tyropus giganteus, Bengal tiger Panthera tigris, Indian leopard Panthera pardus, leopard cat Felis bengalensis, jungle cat Felis chaus, rusty spotted cat, Felis rubiginosa, common palm civet, Paradoxurus hermaphroditus, small Indian civet, Viveracula indica, sloth bear, Melursus ursinus, dole or Asiatic wild dog, Goon alpinus, and flying fox, Tyropus giganteus, the largest Indian bat. Among the 300 species of birds identified in this park include herons, storks, egrets, ducks, kites, eagles, falcons, partridges, quails, peafowl, owls, lapwings, sandpipers, pigeons, doves, parakeets, cuckoos, nightjars, swifts, kingfishers, bee-eaters, barbets, swallows, larks, woodpeckers, shrikes and orioles. Reptiles include marsh crocodile Crocodilus palustris, Indian pond terrapin, star tortoise, common Indian monitor lizard Varanus bengalensis, forest colote, southern green colote, skinks Mabuya spp, geckos, spectacled cobra, Russell's viper, common krite, Indian python Python malorus, checkered keelback, green whip snake, common Indian bronzeback, flying snake, wolf snake and trinket snake. Wildlife sanctuaries Karnataka also has the following 18 wildlife sanctuaries Adichunchanagiri Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Mandya district and is spread over 0.88 square kilometres This was created mainly for the conservation of peacocks. It also houses nearly 250 species of birds. Arabithita Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Mysore district and is spread over 13.5 square kilometres 5.2 square miles. This park consists of eucalyptus and sandalwood plantations. Leopard, fox and spotted deer are some of the animal species found here. Also around 230 species of birds have been observed here over the years. Bailariranga Swami Temple Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in the Chamarajanagar district and is spread over 539.58 square kilometres Some of the species of flora found here are Anogysis latifolia, Gruia tilifolia and Syzygium cumini. Species of mammals include elephants, tigers, leopards, sloth bear, gaur, barking deer and sambar. Among the 215 species of birds found here include Nilgiri wood pigeon, Malabar whistling thrush, yellow-throated bulbul, peregrine falcon, rufous-bellied hawk eagle. An endangered amphibian, Ichthyophis gitanosus has been reported in this sanctuary. Badra Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located between the Chikamagaluru and Shimoga districts and is spread over 492.46 square kilometres Common species of flora include Lagerstromia lanceolata, Adena cordifolia and Correa arborea. Mammals include tiger, leopard, elephant, gaur, slender loris and pangolin. Among the bird species found here are ruby-throated bulbul, shama, malabar whistling thrush and paradise flycatcher. Brahmagiri Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Kodagu district and is spread over an area of 181.80 square kilometers 70.19 square miles. The evergreen forests in this sanctuary include species like Cinnamomum xylanceum, Cedrella tuna and Alstonia scolaris. Bamboos are dominant here and include species like Bambusa bambos and Dendrocalamus strictus. Mammals include elephant, gaur, tiger, jungle cat, bonnet macaque and nilgiri martin. Also around 300 species of birds have been observed here over the years. 
Kaveri Wildlife Sanctuary, it is spread across the districts of Bangalore, Mysore and Mandya and is spread over 102.59 square kilometres Dry deciduous trees found in this park include species like Terminalia arjuna and Syzygium cumini. Animal species found in this park include leopard, elephant, sambar and common otter. This is also one of the last refuge of the highly endangered grizzled giant squirrel in Karnataka. Also around 300 species of birds have been observed here over the years. This sanctuary is also famous for mossier fish tour species. Dandali Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Uttara Kannada district and is spread over 475.02 square kilometers 183.41 square miles. Common tree species found here are Dalbergia latifolia, Terminalia paniculata, T. tomentosa and Vitex altissima. Mammal species include elephant, gaur, wild boar, slender loris, malabar giant squirrel and barking deer. Daroji Sloth Bear Sanctuary, this is located in Bellary district and is spread over 55.87 square kilometres This sanctuary was mainly created for the conservation of sloth bears. Malai Mahadeshwara Wildlife Sanctuary, spread over 906 square kilometers, 349.8 square miles. Am Hills Wildlife Sanctuary came to being on the 7th of May 2013. Contiguous with BRT Tiger Reserve and Kaveri Wildlife Sanctuary, the sanctuary boasts of tiger, elephant, leopard, dole, sambar, barking deer and others. The sanctuary is located in Chamarajanagar district, Kalegala Taluk. Melakote Temple Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Mandya district and is spread over 45.82 square kilometers 17.69 square miles. An endangered species of flora, Cycas sersinalis is found here. Mammal species include wolf, leopard, blackbuck and pangolin. Also around 230 species of birds have been observed here over the years. Mukambika Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Udupi district and is spread over 247 square kilometers 95 square miles. Some of the tree species found here are Dipterocarpus indicus, Calophyllum tomentosum and Hopea parviflora. An endangered species of Climber cachinium fenestratum has been recorded here. Slender loris, lion-tailed macaque, sambar and chital are some of the animals found here. The endangered cane turtle is also found here. Nugu Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Mysore district and is spread over 30.32 square kilometers 11.71 square miles. Common species of flora include Emblica officinalis, Santalum album and Dendrocalamus strictus. Mammals include elephant, gaur, leopard, spotted deer and common palm civet. Pushpagiri Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Kodagu district and is spread over 102.59 square kilometers 39.61 square miles. Some species of flora found here are Hopea parviflora, Schifflera capitata, Xanthalus tomentosa and Ochlandra reedy. Mammals include elephant, tiger, slender loris, Nilgiri martin and bonnet macaque. Also around 230 species of birds have been observed here over the years. Bird species include Great Pied Hornbill, Malabar Trogon and Nilgiri Blackbird. Ranabenor Blackbuck Sanctuary, this is located in Haveri District and is spread over 119.00 square kilometers 45.95 square miles. Eucalyptus is the dominant species of trees found here. Cassia fistula, Prosopsis julifora and Ziziphus mauritania are other tree species found here. This sanctuary was created mainly for the conservation of blackbucks. This sanctuary is also a habitat for the endangered great Indian bustard. Sharavathi Valley Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Shimoga district and is spread over 431.23 square kilometers 166.50 square miles. Dipterocarpus indicus, Caryota arens and Delenia pentagena are some of the species of flora found here. Tiger, leopard, mouse deer, bonnet macaque and common langur are some of the animal species found here. Snakes are commonly found here. Paradise flycatcher, racket-tailed drongo and blue-throated barbet are some of the bird species found here. Shedihali Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Shimoga district and is spread over 395.60 square kilometers 152.74 square miles. 
Cassia fistula, Chytia calicina, and Rhytia tinctoria are some of the species of flora found here. Tiger, leopard, bonnet macaque, and Malabar giant squirrel are some of the animal species found here. Someshwara Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Udupi district and is spread over 88.40 square kilometres. Maculus macrantha, Lophopetulum whitanium, and Articarpus hirsuta are some of the species of flora found here. Tiger, leopard, lion tailed macaque, and spotted deer are some of the animal species found here. Talakaveri Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Kodagu district and is spread over 105.00 square kilometres. Albizia lebic, Articarpus lacucha, Dysoxylum malabaricum, and Mesuaferia are some of the species of flora found here. Clawless otter, elephant, tiger, striped necked mongoose, and mouse deer are some of the animal species found here. Also, around 300 species of birds have been observed here over the years. Fairy bluebird, Malabar trogon and broadbull roller are some of the avian species found. <inaudible> bird sanctuaries Adivari Bird Sanctuary, this is located in Uttara Kannada district and is spread over 2.23 square kilometers. White ibis, little cormorant, pied kingfisher, common grey hornbill are some of the bird species found here. Gudavi Bird Sanctuary, this is located in Shimoga district and is spread over 0.73 square kilometers. The tree species that dominate this sanctuary are Vitex leucoxylon and Philanthus polyphyllus. 191 species of birds are recorded here including white ibis, pheasant-tailed jacana, purple moorhen and little grebe. Ranganathitu Bird Sanctuary, this is located in Mandya district and is spread over 0.67 square kilometers. Among the tree species found here, is the unique Iphigenia mysorensis. Other tree species include Darus indica and Barringtonia racemosa. This sanctuary houses nearly 170 birds. Birds like cormorants, darter, white ibis, great stone plover, cliff swallow, spoonbills, lesser whistling teal roost here all through the year. Mandagad Bird Sanctuary, it is located near the little village Mandagad which is 30 km from the Shimoga town and is based on a small island on the Tunga River. It is mainly visited by migratory birds like median egret the little cormorant and the darter or snake bird Kagaladu Heronry, this is located in Tumkur district and is one of the largest painted stork sanctuaries in South India. Some of the birds that nest here are painted storks, grey herons, pelicans, black stilts and ducks. Kokrebeller Pelicanery, this is located in the town of Kakare Beller in Mandya district and is a haven for avian species like grey or spot-billed pelican Pelicanus philippensis and painted stork Mycteria leucocephala. In fact the word Kakare means stork in the Kannada language. Apart from pelicans and storks, 250 species of birds have been sighted here. Magadi Bird Sanctuary, Magadi Bird Sanctuary created at the Magadi Tank, in Magadi village of Shirahati Taluk, Gadig district. It is one of the biodiversity hotspots of Karnataka, in North Karnataka. From Gadig it is 26 km, it is located on Gadig Bangalore Road, from Shirahati it is 8 km, and from Lakshmeshwara 11 km. Bar-headed goose is one of the bird migrates to Magadi wetlands of Gadig district. Normally birds eat fish, amphibians, mollusks, snakes etc., but migratory birds eating agricultural produce is both interesting and curious too. Winter habitat is on cultivation, it feeds on barley, rice and wheat and damage crops. Bankapura Peacock Sanctuary, this is located in Havri district and spread over an area of 139.10 acres 0 0.5629 square kilometers. This sanctuary was created mainly for the conservation of peacocks. Bonal Bird Sanctuary, this is located about 10 km from Shorapur city in Yadgar district. Ramadivarebeta Vulture Sanctuary, this is located in Ramanagara and is home of the critically endangered long-billed vulture Gypes indicus. Gataprabha Bird Sanctuary, this is located in Belgaum district and is spread over 20.78 square kilometers 8.02 square miles. This sanctuary is known for migratory birds like Demoiselle Crane and European White Stork. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Dangers to flora and fauna. Due to various issues, flora and fauna in some parts of Karnataka are being threatened. These issues include poaching, human wildlife conflict, habitat destruction, pollution and introduction of invasive new species. Topic: <laughs> Poaching. Despite the best efforts of conservation activists, poaching remains one of the serious problems affecting the flora and fauna in the state. Between the years 1997 to 2001, a total of 98 elephants have succumbed to poaching in Karnataka. Poaching has also affected the breeding of turtles like Olive Ridley on the beaches of Karnataka as well as otters on the river banks. Tigers are also another species that are threatened to extinction by poachers. Sandalwood, famed for its sculptures and its aroma is frequently poached out of the forests of Karnataka. Teakwood, famed for the furniture is another species of flora affected by this problem. Staff shortage, lack of adequate funds and unscientific anti-poaching camps are some of the reasons quoted for continued poaching activities. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Habitat destruction. Some of the activities that are causing a destruction of habitat of flora and fauna in Karnataka are Construction of dams and reservoirs. Construction of dams causes widespread flooding of surrounding areas, causing destruction of species that inhabit the area. They also affect the flow of riverine species like fishes and disrupt their normal habits. An example is the construction of the Linganamaki Reservoir in Shimoga district that caused the extinction of the grass, Hubbardia heptanuron. Destruction of forest land for agriculture and other purposes. Large tracts of forest land have been cleaned up for monoculture plantations like teak, coffee, and rubber. This has led to the destruction of species that were dependent on the forest. An example of this is loss of special habitats in Karnataka, such as Maristika swamps and high altitude grasslands. In the dry zone, they have adversely affected several species dependent on large tracts of scrub, such as the wolf and the great Indian bustard. Mining operations – Mining operations clear out large areas of land and cause destruction to the species dependent on them. An example is the Kudremic Iron Ore Company Limited which mined iron ore within the boundaries of the protected Kudremic National Park. <laughs> Human wildlife conflict Due to the loss of habitat, more and more species of fauna have started to venture into human habitation causing a conflict between humans and fauna. A typical species affected by this is the elephant which ventures out of the forest into human cultivations thereby eating or destroying the crops. In some cases, the elephants have also caused human deaths like an incident that happened in Hassan district where a villager was trampled to death. Precautionary measures sometimes illegally taken up by humans to prevent such mishaps like electric fencing have also led to disastrous consequences like electrocution of fauna. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Pollution. Release of industrial waste and human effluence into rivers have caused significant damages to species that reside in rivers and riverbanks. Air pollution is also a significant cause of concern in metros like Bangalore where it has been found that air pollution is discoloring foliage including those of ornamental plants. A comparison of the lichen flora of the garden lal bog in Bangalore has revealed that 18 of the 22 species noted in 1980 were no longer present in 1997. Pollution in rivers like Kabini, Kaveri and Ghataprabha has caused sharp reduction in populations of bird species, including beneficial insectivorous birds like drongos, as well as honeybees. Invasive new species Introduction of new species into a habitat has caused serious consequences to the existing species of flora and fauna. A typical example is the introduction of the African catfish in the lakes and rivers of Karnataka. This is a carnivorous fish and has caused serious damage to the indigenous fauna living in those lakes and rivers. Weeds like Eupatorium, Lantana and Parthenium have invaded large tracts of land causing destruction. 
An increase in eupatorium is attributed as one of the causes for the spread of the deadly Chiasanur forest disease which has a morbidity rate of 10% among humans since it harbors tick populations that are vectors for this disease. Eucalyptus plantations in the Ranabenor Blackbuck Sanctuary has seriously harmed the extremely rare Great Indian Bustard. Conservation efforts Various conservation activities are in progress to protect the biodiversity present in Karnataka. These activities are mostly done by the Forest Department of the State of Karnataka and other voluntary organizations. Relocation of human population The presence of human habitation within the core area of reserved forests poses many problems like human wildlife conflict and destruction of habitat due to agriculture and cattle grazing. Systematic efforts have been made to relocate some of this population into proper zones outside the protected area. An example is the relocation of some villagers from Bhagawathi and Nasahala habitations within the Kudremak National Park to safer regions outside it. Usage of technology New scientific methods are being used to protect the flora and fauna. Some of these are Usage of satellites to detect forest fires so that they can easily be extinguished. Radio tracking of animals and usage of techniques like remote camera sampling to estimate the animal population. Installation of wireless stations and using wireless sets for easy communication among individuals involved in field trips and anti-poaching activities. <laughs> <laughs> Staff empowerment It is highly important to keep up the morale of forest wardens and other staff members involved in anti-poaching activities and field trips. It is also necessary to keep them up to date on the technology and wildlife related laws. The following steps were implemented to address this issue. Field kits were provided to the staff consisting of boots, rain gear and uniforms. Conservation related award programs were announced to boost the morale of the staff. Training programs were undertaken for the staff in the use of firearms against poachers, field craft and Indian wildlife laws. Recently discovered species Many areas of Karnataka, especially in the forests of Malnad region are unexplored and new species of flora and fauna are discovered periodically. Some of the new species of flora discovered in Karnataka include Paracolia bhatii a ginger and Isagni veldkampi a grass, both of which were discovered near Manipal in Udupi district. Two species of algae, Cosmarium borelli and Cosmarium desiccaceri, were discovered in a paddy field in Belgaum. Other new species of flora discovered in Karnataka include Isoetes udipiensis, a pteridophyte, and Pisolithus indicus, a fungus. Some of the new species of fauna discovered include two species of ants, Dilabacondyla bangalorica, which was discovered on the campus of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, and Discotheria sringerensis, which was discovered near Sringeri. Three new species of frogs, Philautus luteolus, Philautus tuberohumerus and Nyctobatrachus petraeus have been discovered in Karnataka. Explorations in the Sharavathi River have yielded new fish species like Batasio sharavadiensis a bagrid catfish, Shistora nagodiensis and Shistora sharavathiensis. Another fish species, Puntius coorgensis, has been discovered near Bhagamandala in the Kaveri River. Some other species of fauna discovered in Karnataka include two species of whiteflies, Distinctalirodes cetosus and Aloracanthus arasi, and a Sicilian, Gaganiophis madavi. Explorations in the soil around the Linganamaki reservoir has revealed 11 new species of earthworms. <laughs> <laughs> Endangered species Karnataka is the home of few critically endangered species of flora that include evergreen trees like Dipterocarpus bordelloni, Hopea erosa and Hopea jacobi, Croton lawianus a small tree and Pinatella limbata a type of moss. 
Some of the critically endangered species of fauna found in Karnataka include Gypes indicus, the Indian vulture, and two species of frogs, Indirana gundia, found only in Gundia Range, Sakleshpur, and Microxalis katagaharensis, found only near Katagahara, Chikmagaluru district. Some of the endangered species of flora include evergreen trees like Cinemetra bordioni, Cinemetra travancorica, Hopea glabra, Hopea parviflora, Hopea ponga, Hopea ricofloea, Hopea whiteiana, Shorea roxburghi, and Tarana agumbensis, and flowering plants like Glochidion passiflorum, Glochidion tomentosum, Ixora lawsoni, and Syzygium stocksi. Other endangered trees found in Karnataka include Isonandra stocksi, Kingiodendron panatum, Mesa velatina, Maristica magnifica, Rapinia striata, and Xylosma litifolium. Endangered species of fauna found in Karnataka include the Bengal tiger, Indian elephant, lion tailed macaque, olive ridley turtle, and dole, the Indian wild dog. Many endangered species of amphibians are found here including frogs, Indirana brachytarsis, Microhyla shalagari, Minervaria sayadris, Nyctobatrachus elysiae, Nyctobatrachus husseini, Nyctobatrachus sanctipalistris, Philautus charius, Philautus winodensis, Ramanella mormorata and Racophorus lateralis and a toad, Bufo bodomi. Other endangered species of fauna include Hippozideros hypophilus and Pseudomalaria dalii a mollusk. 